What's good, YouTube? Okay, guys, so I wanted to go back through, we just got done with the uh, premiere of the new Madden gameplay, and I wanted to do a quick video just breaking down different kind of takeaways and notes that I was taking as I was watching this for you guys. Um, and then, again, just kind of walk you through like what I'm seeing and why, um, you know, why I think it's important. So the first thing that I want to talk about right off the gate here is if you watch when Clef uh, runs out here with this uh, kickoff return, if you pause right here, there's definitely going to be kickoff returns. So that's going to be a thing this year, and you'll actually see later in the gameplay this come back. But they, there's a lot of really good opportunity for running back kicks in the middle of the field. So that's something to kind of think about um, as we look to Madden 23. It's definitely going to be a thing where you're going to be able to return uh, kicks again. Um, and so that's going to be something that you're going to need to have, like a good kickoff strategy, and you're going to need to be able to know the strategy to return kicks. Now, another thing that I want to jump into right off the bat here is with, with uh, Clef's first play call they're going to show here, is if you take a look, TD Barrett runs a lot of coverage. We actually lurked this uh, seam streak, but uh, I think I saw in this gameplay he was calling a lot of cover three. If you look here, three, boom, boom, boom. Um, this reroute right here is going to be really important next year because seam streaks are really, really good. You're going to see that throughout this gameplay. Um, and so Clef is going to his unbumped receiver, which is tight end. TD does a good job of using this, picks it off. But again, um, I'm just, I'm just kind of getting at the, uh, the, the seams are going to be a thing. And, and you're going to need to, be have, uh, to be prepared for that. I'm going to talk about how to do that um, as this game goes on. But basically, one of my first thoughts for how to stop seam streaks is going to be to user one of them and then allow your third to guard another one. Here, just as I'm saying that, uh, Clef was actually, I believe, in man-to-man -man coverage, which we'll talk about man coverage a little bit here in just a second. But what you'll see right here is... Um, I'm not sure what, I, I don't know what exactly, I think this was a man up here, and then I think this guy's actually manned up on him, and he just doesn't get there in time, and T does a good job of throwing in a window. They were using the, the passing, I believe the free form or the skill-based passing. I'm not still sure what to think about that yet. Oh, it was a cover six, so I think again, I, I really think it was a man up adjustment here um, that he was trying to make on this. But again, you see this is just absolutely a, a great, a great um, kind of resource for the seam streaks issue. Um, you're going to have to like think through the seam streaks. And you're going to see Clef go to it here, um, and it actually goes to a concept. This is something that we ran, ran a ton in Madden 22, and it's still in the game. It's just a little different. So the running back seam wheel is still really good with the flat point out, and especially with the seam streak behind it. You've got the seam, you've got the flat, and then you've got the seam streak. Now, again, TD's in the cover three for the majority of this game. And so, Clef is attacking the zone perfectly. He's going to hit this seam, uh, seam wheel, which is going to be a really good zone beater in Madden uh, 23. One of the things that you're going to be able to utilize still to be able to beat zone coverage. You see, this, the yellow did drop to the seam streak, though. So, it's not, you know, that might have been a, been a potential high ball, um, but he did certainly drop to that uh, that seam streak. So that's just something to kind of keep in the back pocket of your mind. Now, as we're going through these uh, videos, I want you to notice kind of the difference uh, between the sheds that TD Barrett is getting here and the sheds that Clef is getting um, on their defensive line. They're both getting good sheds, but you'll notice as this game goes on that TD Barrett is getting great sheds. And I believe that it's because of the edge threat abilities or the abilities that Bosa and um, I can't remember, is it Ingram, that they have um, on this see their boom, boom shed. And they're in there quick. So this is a quick read. It's a seam streak. Back again to what I'm getting at, cover three. The deep middle third safety side, it's not as open. And he probably could have fit this into the left here, but of course the user's there. This is wide open over here. And I probably, I would just assume that he's probably playing hard flats out of a cover three, so he probably shaded his coverage down. That's why this hook curl doesn't carry it. He's playing underneath. And then as you can see, it leaves this window wide open. But again, please notice the sheds that Clef is, or that uh, TD is getting on the edges are really, I think, something to kind of be um, tucking away from an ability perspective and also from a defensive perspective. You don't necessarily have to blitz in Madden 23 to get pressure. You're going to be able to do that with your sheds. It's one of the reasons why I think big nickel over G, nickel 245 normal, nickel normal, those are all going to be really good defenses because they give you really good sheds because of the way that they um, allow the defensive ends to come free. One of the things I also want you to notice is how the pressure comes. The pressure is going to come from the outside over the course of the majority of the video. There's not a ton of instant interior pressure, so we'll kind of keep that um, just in our back pocket as we're watching this. 
Um, they're talking a little bit about the uh, the new passing uh, skill based passing system. Uh, I, I would say we got to kind of it's kind of one of those things you got to keep an eye on. I'm not sure if it'll be the way to go or not. But this throw right here was insane. Uh, I was like really surprised at this at this throw right here. If you watch this, look at this window, and I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm pretty sure, again, we're in this this kind of cover three. I'm not quite sure he's over here. I think he had a touchdown, actually. But anyways, this is a tight, tight window. But again, with the pressure, look at how consistent. Or, uh, is that Khalil Mack? I don't know. Might be Khalil Mack. Maybe I'm off the off my rock or Melvin Ingram. I think that was last year. Anyways, um, whoever they have on the Chargers, they shed really good, and it's because of their ability. So, um, anyways. Okay, so he's going inside zone. Watch this right here. This is really important. Notice that Clef, um, he, he didn't shoot it, okay? Um, he looped around to, to get it. I do think that is something that we're going to need to, like, think about in Madden 23 um, as, we're, as we're kind of building our run defenses. How to stop the run is going to be really important, especially for the first turn of the year, uh, which literally is in, like, five days after launch or two days. I don't even know. It's, it's very, very close to launch. Um, so you're going to need to kind of, like, get your run defense in order. Um, the other thing that I want to also talk about is uh, what we're about to see from Clef on this play, and that's man-to-man. -man. Um, so you see here we've got man across the board. He's manned up, he's manned up, he's manned up, he's manned up. Um, and then what you'll notice here is he's got the two purples, and this guy's on a contain. Now, he probably should have re him, but he didn't. Watch the sheds, uh, and then watch the coverage, of course. You're going to see the man coverage is still really good. This guy has an ability, so he's going to shed faster. And then boom, you see that TD actually burns over the top. I don't know about this throw, honestly. Um, I don't know how consistent that's going to be. I think it's mainly because he has a linebacker man coverage on Williams, and it's more of a speed situation. Um, you know, but it is what it is. Anyways, I hope you were looking at his uh, sheds. Also, cover two man. The man to man coverage uh, principles in cover two man versus cover one are are completely different, just in terms of how the corners are going to play. So I think you're going to see a cover one robber style defense be really effective or cover one press because those don't necessarily get burned over the top as much as cover two man does. Cover two man is playing the principles of the coverage to tell the corners that you have safety help over top. Well, in cover one robber, it doesn't tell them that. They only have one safety help, um, and that's that whole defender or that middle third. So it's a little bit different just in terms of the way the coverage is going to play. Um, and you can also kind of change some of that with the shading uh, principles that they put into the game again here you see like look at that look at that that's almost a touchdown he almost broke another one and and I remember in the beta I noticed this you could break kickoffs um, right up the middle uh, the best strategy in my opinion is probably right up the middle at least at the start of the year so that's something to kind of keep in mind um, they're kind of just kind of cycling through some random formations I'm sure that you know they're not going to necessarily run all this stuff in their you know regular schemes but anyway just something to kind of note Again, watch how good these sheds are. And then he does a good job right here. Um, this is something that they'll talk about a little bit later, but you can actually, by flicking with your user, by flicking the right joystick left or right, you can kind of like shed off blocker, blockers a little bit easier from a user perspective. It's gonna be really, really good for the run game. Um, he's kind of running cover four quarters, but again, he's not running match coverage. He's running the zone drop logic. They're going to talk about it a little bit in this video, but basically what that means is the zone coverage logic or the, the match coverage by default is turned off. And so cover four quarters is going to play like cover four drop basically. Uh, so what you need to do is if you want to run match coverage, you need to go into your coaching adjustments in your pre-call menu and turn match coverage on. Look at how fast these sheds are coming. Again, another one of those throws, and we talked about that. We broke that down a second ago. He was actually in cover two, Invert. Okay. Um, but anyways, look at these sheds. Look at how fast these sheds are. And this is, I mean, you're seeing this almost every play. Now, the interior pressure is not coming, and I'm, I, I'm not honestly sure why. Both of these teams don't have, like, all-star interior pass rushers. So I think that's more of what it is. As we get some of those better interior pass rushers to go with these outside pass rushers, you're going to see something, uh, I think, really interesting with the pass rush. One of the things I want to break down right here, Clef does a really good job of showing how to scramble in Madden 23. You don't want to try to go out here. So you see here, if he tries to contain out of here um, or uh, escape out of here, right, scramble out, it's not going to happen. What he does is, watch, he steps up and then he scrambles up and then to the outside and then is able to throw the rollout. So that is a kind of a key tip for how you're going to want to be scrambling in Madden 23. If you want to get out of pocket, you want to step up 
and inside and then escape outside of the pocket. Kind of, kind of similar to like running a dive and breaking it outside after you've broken the main, um, you know, the main line of scrimmage. So that's uh, just something to kind of keep in mind. They're talking a little bit about some of the new coverages that they put in the game. Watch these deep halves. Um, if you watch, keep a close eye on the deep halves, you're going to see that deep halves in this game are a lot better than they were in Madden 22. Um, in Madden 22, like, I don't even know, like, they really didn't cover anything. Um, here, they're going to cover stuff. So that's just something to kind of keep in mind. Uh, I'm surprised at how much cover three these guys are running because cover three is probably one of the worst coverages in the beta. Um, and we're seeing the windows. There's just a lot of windows, like right in there. Um, there's a lot of windows. The other thing about bringing your safeties down is I want to kind of come back and talk about this play. Um, the, the other thing about bringing your safeties down, so these safeties are deep. And the whole thing we've heard about Madden 23 is all it's got field sense logic, and it does, and it's a great feature. But one of the things that we need to think about is because these safeties are so far off of the ball, they're, they're still going to drift. See, drift 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 now the problem is he can't make a break on this throw it's why clef's able to throw that but what if this safety was like here then he's going to be a much uh, in, a, in a much better position to make a play on that throw so that's again another reason why it is so important in this year's game to be bringing your safeties into the box and allowing them to help you out on some of those throws because those are some of the main throwing windows that we're going to see here we see td bear kind of um, do the same thing that Clef was doing from a scramble perspective. I want to break this play down. Um, so play action blocking does a great job of, uh, notice that play action blocking actually did a really good job of pass protecting here. And then he's able to step up and out. Man coverage for just a second. He's got a skinny post and he's got a deep end. Clef uses the deep end, he throws the skinny post. I think crossers, uh, posts, uh, deep ends, slants, those are all really good things um, for beating man to man, um, here Clef's gonna go with some man coverage. I think on the red in the red zone here. Um, and let's see. I think he's gonna throw this one away. He should throw this away. Yeah, throw this away. Uh, but it's just interesting to watch somehow these routes are gonna work. Uh, here we've got a little little. Uh, see, there's that in route. And let's see. Tries to throw. I guess it's in the path. Almost makes a crazy play. Um, and then this. Um, Running good old level sweat level switch sale, um, but I mean, notice the in routes are beating me. It's just the uh, user of Clef is kind of kind of helping that out. Now, notice another thing here. So Clef is blitzing three people. It doesn't show that he's blitzing his user. Uh, Watchman snap the ball. I'm pretty sure I don't think he is. Um, if you just watch his user, you're going to see that he's not going to shed. So he's not blitzing three. There's no no real shed. It's more of a contained shed. There you notice something that I do want to hit on. Um, Austin Eckler on this route right here, this is, um, I'm not exactly sure the play call off the top of my head, but basically he's on an option route. So he can either sit down against zone or he can either cut out or inside. In this example, he's going to cut inside and he's manned up. This guy gets absolutely roasted. Now granted it is a linebacker, but he gets roasted in man coverage to the inside. T throws it, should have been a touchdown. But anyways, that's something... Um, you know, that is something that, you know, just kind of think about, okay? Um, this is where they're talking about the evading blockers feature. I do think he's right. I think that is something if you can actually learn how to do it, it could be very, very helpful, especially for user rushes, user tap, mainly for run game, uh, in my opinion. Here, I think they're going to try to show off this crosser situation um, with from a trips. So he has no pull route on a cover three shell. And what you'll see is that this third will guard here again i can't stress enough look at the middle third he's uh, 10 yards off of this guy if you bring him down in the box he's probably five yards off of this guy and can actually make a play on the ball so bringing your safeties down is really really important in Madden 23. um you'll see here this is a shaded underneath coverage obviously he's not trying to shed they're just trying to show that this player will guard this guy that play however is a little harder so that's just something to kind of keep in mind with your safeties i really think bringing them in the box is really really important uh, in Madden in Madden 23. Um, okay, so uh, here we go. Let's kind of keep moving through some of this stuff. They're just trying to show off um, just the tackle battle stuff, which I'm not really too keen on. Look how fast these sheds are. I mean, that's just insane. Left them five wide. Um, this is actually a good. Um, I forgot about this. 
So on the beta, Cover 2 was kind of like, there was a lot of really good things about Cover 2, but in, in the beta, the cloud flops were not very good. They wouldn't like play deep flat, like deep outside stuff like they normally do. They basically would give up that kind of stuff all the, all the time. So let's watch this animation here. You're gonna see you're gonna get the press, which is really good. Now here, he does give him an outside release, which I don't think he should do that. Uh, but anyways, what you're gonna see, look how far back. So they were pressed him about the 30. Now he's about 10. Obviously the pressure is bearing down, but it does seem like they fixed some of the cloud flap logic that was kind of broken in the beta. So hopefully that's the case. Let's see if he goes to cover two again. He might be, I think he's a man to man here. Um, oh, actually no, this was, or yeah, I guess it was. I guess it was shaded, shaded man to man. Oh, anyway, you see how good this is. The crosser is going to be open right here. This route's where he wants to go. Look how, look at how fast this is coming in on him. Um, that's so interesting. Uh, but anyway, he's just going to throw it way over the top. So I mean, the pass rush you're noticing. If you put edge threat or if you put something like that on those guys, they're going to shed faster. This means on offense, you're going to need to make sure you're using either edge protectors or secure protectors to counter that stuff. Um, and you're still gonna get shedded, but it's gonna help the instant wins um, that you're seeing in this, in this example. Cause they're literally winning almost every play. Uh, this is a great thing that I wanted to talk about uh, right here. This is the deep corner, uh, a deep corner route. For It could be from bunch, could be tr from trips, could be from compression. It's just the, the bottom line is it's a deep corner route. I want you to watch how, how fast the pressure gets in to the point that this has almost no time to develop. And they really didn't blitz at all in this in this uh, gameplay. So that's something to think about. But watch this. He's he's like getting shedded right here. This, we want to throw this over here. It doesn't have time to get there, okay? It doesn't have time to get there. And as you can see, it's, oh, it's gonna get open, but it doesn't have time. So route, from a route combination perspective, you've got to make sure that your concepts, you have quick reads to be able to beat some of these quick pressures. Okay, even out of a four down line and set. That's why match coverage I think is gonna be really good next year because match coverage normally the, the beaters take a long time to get open. Love this concept, he should have hit that guy right there. Again, he did it and he's taking sack. See how fast this pressure is just getting on, uh, on him over and over and over again. Again, that's why I think edge threat elite or edge threat or one of those abilities is one of the most important abilities. Um, I can't believe I thought that was in there. I think I'm pretty sure, I'm almost positive that's Khalil Mack. Uh, but anyways, so here he's going to go to, uh, so uh, TD's in cover three, it's clear from the safety, he knows what he's going to get, and that's wide open. Again, seams will kill cover three in Madden 23. They will actually kill a lot of different cover threes, so that's just something that you got to think about. Um, and so you've got to be prepared to defend the seams. TD's really not adjusting to that. Obviously, this is just kind of a fun game to show off the game, so it's not a big deal, but I'm just saying, um, that's something you got to think about. Now, right here, I want you to watch this. This is man to man. Watch it bag. Watch that bag. That was Stefan Diggs against a linebacker, and the linebacker bagged him. Um, so, you know, man coverage is good. It doesn't. It doesn't even necessarily have to be pressed, even though I do think it is better uh, pressed. Couple, couple things. Um, like I said, you know, uh, the time for the deep corners to develop. Watch this run from TD, and watch Austin Eckler here. Um, so it's a little zone. Watch it. Watch right here. See that juke. Juke, I'm pretty sure he has Jukebox on him. Jukebox is probably the best running back ability, at least right now, uh, from what we played in the beta and from what we're seeing in this gameplay, it's really good. So um, that's just something to kind of think about. Um, you know, Juke, Jukebox, zone-based runs. I was really surprised at how well the interior offensive line held their blocks on the zone-based runs. So you're gonna have to have run defense next year. Um, and it, I really do think you're gonna have to maybe think about um, am I going to put a safety at linebacker? You know, I don't know. We didn't see a lot of that in this. Here's another seam streak. And then you get a user strip fumble. So jukebox, really probably the best ability. But we're seeing that you can fumble. You could probably fumble a lot more in Madden 23 than you did in Madden 22. And so that's just something to think about as well. Should you play on conservative? I might. Pro I probably will be playing on conservative, at least in my opinion. That throw was incredible. I do want to break this down though real quick, this route combo. Uh, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is match coverage. So um, Clef goes to, uh, he's gonna go to some match, okay? So uh, Clef is gonna go to some match coverage, kind of see how it plays out. Now if you watch how this plays out, I think you'll see some really good things. So first and foremost, the cutting of the tight end drag, really well done by the safety. 
watch this right this is actually good coverage um, you see him he's gonna match that guy really well and if you watch this crosser he's not open he actually the locomotion used to be an issue no longer an issue because the movement is better um, but obviously I don't know I don't even know how he threw that to be honest that's gonna be an interesting thing to watch it just tells us that user catches are gonna be good um, did he free form that it wasn't a free form it was a high ball high ball uh, passing is really really good when one on one so that's just something you got to think about as well like I said user um, you know being able to click on a user catching this game is going to be really important uh, we'll see what they do with that because that's kind of like from a competitive perspective that was probably covered um, you know maybe Clef could have clicked on it I'm not sure and swatted that but that that was that was kind of like yeah it's kind of interesting to see that so all right so here's the kickoff return I was talking about right up the middle like I said you maybe do like a little swerve move to the left or a little swerve move to the right cut it back up the alley kickoff return middle to me is probably the best way to go right out of the box so um, you know that's just something to kind of think about and then here we're kind of winding down the gameplay um, watch this dig route against man to man so obviously he's in man now again I'm not sure if he's pressing his user but you're noticing that he's not getting he's still getting sheds but they're not as consistent as TD is getting okay that's just something to think about uh, and I, I'm pretty sure it's because he's not blitzing his user but I could be wrong and he should he knows to do that so I don't know I don't know if he is doing that or not uh, but anyways uh, watch this in, in route that does beat man coverage that when you make in route so that's another thing that you're like kind of mentally noting okay in routes are really good against man to man um, you know these deep in routes do really good against man to man the running back in routes do really good against man to man um, you know stuff like that are just key things to think about Watch here, in route, boom, and he's in. So that's pretty much, um, you know, final thoughts on this. Uh, I think when you get the game, you want to make sure that you're messing around with. Um, you, you, I really think one of the first and most important things you can do offensively, first most important thing you can do is learn how to beat man to man. Okay, learn how to beat man to man. Second thing that I think you can do is learn the, how to use the left trigger and the juke. Um, I do think the juke is going to be probably the better move. Double juke might be back. Um, left trigger for quicker cuts. That is something that you want to kind of mess around with. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much my thoughts on the Madden 23 gameplay first look. Um, you know, a couple kind of final takeaways is, you know, I really think you've got to consider, um, especially in that ultimate team, having abilities on your offensive line to help with the quick instant win sheds. I think you need to also uh, be able to make sure that you can have uh, man beaters in your offensive scheme and then make sure you have a throwing ability. You saw both, I'm pretty sure both of the teams here have throwing abilities. Uh, but then the other thing is defensively, you need to make sure if you, if you watch this game, the main way they move the ball was these little soft pockets in these zone coverages, primarily created by the fact that the safeties weren't down in the box. So that's just some stuff to think about. Thanks for watching the video if you want to go check out. The full breakdown or the full game, I'll put a link to EA's channel in the description. I'm glad we finally got to see some gameplay. Also, if you want to get better than Madden 23, I'd really encourage you um, to consider joining my Patreon. That's where you'll be able to get access to all of my Madden eBooks. Um, we're gonna have a ton of content dropping in the course of the next week, so make sure you join the Patreon. The link is down in the description. And it's just 10 bucks to sign up.